Personalized medicine is what we call pharmacogenomics. That's the study of genes and drugs. Now, here's a great example, coffee. Some people have a cup of coffee and they stay up all night. Other people could have three espressos and go right to sleep. That's a gene-drug interaction. Hi, I'm Dr. Steven Tucker, and in this video, we are going to explain what is personalized medicine and how we use it to individualize care at Tucker Medical. Chemotherapy has different side effects for different people. And while some of that is out of our control, a lot of it is in our control. Our own genes, controlled by DNA, control the metabolism. A drug comes into the body, it needs to be converted and excreted or gotten rid of. And that's under genetic control. That's a basic part of personalized medicine. Personalized medicine is what we call pharmacogenomics. That's the study of genes and drugs. Now, here's a great example, coffee. Some people have a cup of coffee and they stay up all night. Other people could have three espressos and go right to sleep. That's a gene-drug interaction. Let me give you another example, alcohol. Most Asians, when they drink alcohol, get a red flush. That's uncommon in Caucasians. Another example of gene-drug interactions. But what if I wasn't talking about alcohol? What if I wasn't talking about caffeine? What if it was an antibiotic? What if it was a painkiller? What if it was your chemotherapy drug? This is basic chemistry. Think of it as SEC3 or grade nine. You have a drug, you have an enzyme, and you have an output. We have to convert A to B through a protein enzyme. Now in this case, we might be talking about a drug. It could be a chemotherapy drug that has to go from inactive to active to get the job done. My favorite example in medicine is a painkiller, codeine. Codeine, like in cough syrup, is a pro-drug. It's inactive but our enzymes turn it on to give us a version of morphine, which makes the pain go away. Now, let me give you variations on what might happen with codeine. If your metabolism is so-called normal, then one unit of codeine in is gonna give me one unit of morphine out. But if you have a slow variation in metabolism, you might not get as much morphine as we think you should have, and you will be in a lot of pain. More dangerously, if you have a rapid metabolism, you may get one unit of codeine in and hundreds of units of morphine out. And it's not just gonna make you feel good, it runs the risk of causing overdose and respiratory disease. So we really need to get the medicine right and personalize gene-drug interactions. Let me give you an example in cancer care. There are some famous chemotherapy drugs, very old medicine, that we've often described as having a severe risk of diarrhea in 10% of the patients. But I never knew who they were, so it was always dealer's choice. But with personalized medicine, I can check a patient's DNA and enzyme levels and identify those 10% at the most risk and make changes to their dosing, lower the dose so that they have a normal or even eliminate the risk of diarrhea. In short, pharmacogenomics allows us to personalize your care. It's gonna help us minimize side effects and maximize choosing the right drug for you at this most important time in your life. At Tucker Medical, we offer personalized medicine. Pharmacogenomics, individualized drug dosing, choosing drugs based on risk of side effect and risk of benefit, is core to your individualized care. 
We offer it to all new patients. We offer it when appropriate at any time in your care journey. But I want you to know, this is the kind of test that's a once in a lifetime. Once we know this information, once you know this information, now we can make better decisions, smarter decisions for the rest of your healthcare journey. If you'd like to learn more about pharmacogenomics or personalized medicine, just talk to us, click the link below, or send us a message. We're always happy to speak with you. In short, pharmacogenomics is the future of medicine, and pharmacogenomics is available today. If you'd like to learn more, click the link below.